Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Ann Reardon and today we're making a broken heart cake modelled on the cake in the Taylor Swift song Blank Space from her 1989 album. So, so many requests for something Taylor Swift. To make this you will need a double quantity of vanilla buttercream and the recipe video for that is on the channel and on the website howtocookthat.net and you'll also find the recipe there in the video showing how to make the sponge cakes. And you'll also need some white chocolate melts and some strawberry or raspberry sauce. Firstly you want to level off the top of your cakes so they are completely flat and then use the back of your knife to press gently in the middle of the cake to make an indent. Then turn your knife 90 degrees and make another indent across so that you've marked the cake into quarters. Carefully cut out one of the quarters and then on the opposite side of the cake cut straight across where those two indents come to the edge there and then do that same thing on that quarter piece that we cut out before so that you're making it into a triangle. Then add that triangle to the other side of your cake trim off the top two corners and then use your knife to round it out so that you've got a nice heart shape and repeat that with your other round cake as well. Place one of the hearts onto a round cake board and sketch out an oval shape and we're going to decorate it to make it a bit similar to the platter that's in the clip. If you can find one of those platters you can just use that but this just makes it easy for you just to use a cake board. Cut that out and then melt your white chocolate melts in the microwave, just 30 seconds stir, 20 seconds stir, and then repeat 10 seconds stir till it's melted. And then pour that over your cake board and spread it out. Lift up the cake board and tap underneath to get that chocolate nice and smooth. Then heat up a knife and just use it to smooth around the edges so that it's not bumpy and leave it to set. On some baking paper, trace around the cake so that you've got the heart shape and then flip that over so you don't get the pencil onto the chocolate that we're going to use. Pour some chocolate on and spread it out. You don't want this to be too thick because remember you want to be able to cut a knife through it easily. So spread it out fairly thinly. You can do it thicker on the edges if you want but keep it fairly thin in the middle. And you'll need two of these so grab another piece of baking paper and make another one. Place the cake onto some baking paper and use some buttercream to join the two heart bits together. Then spread some buttercream on the top and the sides. Then add another heart on top and spread buttercream all over the cake. Take a clean clear piece of plastic and holding it firmly at the base, run it up the sides of the cake to smooth it out. And we're going to add more to this later, we'll add more buttercream so if it's not exactly correct it doesn't matter, just get it fairly smooth. When you get around to the top of the heart, you can bend that plastic around so that it matches the curve of the cake and run it up. So it just makes it really easy to smooth it. Then use a spatula to pick it up and put the whole heart onto our chocolate coated cake board. Peel one of the hearts off the baking paper and add it to the top of the cake and push it down firmly, but not too hard. You don't want to break it because then you'll have to begin again. Pipe some buttercream around the edge to outline the heart and then repeat that again so you have a double layer of frosting going around there and make sure there are no gaps in it because this is like a barrier or a pool edge so it's important. Now pour in the strawberry sauce so we have a beautiful red heart there in the middle. Add the other chocolate heart on top and push it down, again not too firmly, you can make sure that you push down just on the edges, not in the middle when you do this. Add another thin layer of frosting all over the top and then spread it out and smooth it using a spatula and the plastic just like we did before. Then change to a small star shaped tip and pipe little stars of buttercream all the way around the top edge. And if anyone is thinking I wish you'd show us how to do this without a piping bag I have a video on that and I'll link to that in the description below. Then pipe stars all the way around the base of the cake where it meets the cake board and then another line of stars just above that first one all the way around the edge. Now to make our cake board look pretty, put some melted chocolate into a piping bag and with a small round tip or you could just use a Ziploc bag with the, just the corner cut off and just pipe little dots all the way around the whole way around the oval. Then on each side pipe a dot sort of just a little way around from the edge and then put six dots around it like you've got a circle or a little flower. 
then draw a line of dots going around that circle and up towards the cake just curving it in and then out and do another line of dots on the other side of that circle just to match it there. Now pipe a swirl of chocolate, swirl around and down around that circle and back up the other side and curve it around. Add a couple more long swirls to each side and then two more shorter ones just to give it some style. Let that chocolate set and then use some white luster dust on a dry paintbrush and brush it all over the platter. Now I know places like cake decorating stores sell this. People always ask where can I get it. It's edible and it's called luster dust. You can just look it up online. It just makes it look a little bit shiny and pearlized and pretty. For the full Taylor Swift effect, stab your knife into the cake. And if you want a splatter, just shake it off the knife. If this was a movie, we'd just add special effects, but it's not. It's a real cake. And when you slice into the cake, the strawberry sauce will flow over and out of the cake. Now, the first person who can count and name all of the Taylor Swift song titles mentioned in this video will be the lucky one to get a $30 voucher for the How to Cook That shop, and the next nine people will get a free copy of the Surprise Cakes app from the iTunes App Store. Subscribe to How to Cook That for more crazier sweet creations. Click here for last week's video, here for the channel, and here to go to the website. Have a great week, and I'll see you on Friday with a chocolate creation that is beyond your wildest dreams. Yeah.